Um, that's what this whole process is about. I have a question. Because we can't run ads to an offer that's not proven and an audience that's not validated. What's up, Khalil? So I just got connected with Connected, so that's why I'm on here. So um, Let's what, go. Yeah, I know, right? What I'm trying to find out is what is a, a decent percentage as far as response rate? Is it 25%? I would say like it depends on the avatar. So if you're going after like construction and people like that, anywhere from six, six would be the minimum. But at overall, what I would recommend if you're going under 10%, we got to change something. So, I'm good so if you're above 10%, you're, oh. you're good. Like people want to connect with you. Like people are interested at some extent. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'm sitting at 58%, 33%, oh. and 25%. Yeah, so that's great. How many, okay. How many sequences? Please? I have. How many sequences do I have? I have three se sequences going. Okay. Three sequences? Uh huh. So all with different avatars? Uh, yeah. All right. So that's like not good. You know what I'm saying? Because you only have a hundred messages you can send a day. And I think you're still going through your, your account warm up stage, right? If you just got it, like you only have 15 messages you can spend in a day and you're dividing it by three different avatars. Oh, I get what you're saying, Joe. You're saying- So you're you're get, your, your test is gonna take too long to close. Got you, okay, okay. So I should only have one test. Yeah. Yeah, it's really okay. different question. Yeah, okay. and you still got to go through the account warm up phase. So you have to go from 15 messages a day to 100 messages a day. Okay. And I think it only increments by like two to five or something like that. And how long does it take before I can up that? Is it like after two? Well, it increments daily. Daily. Two. Can I pull up my numbers and, and what am You should be able to share your screen. Yeah. So this has been running for how long? I think a couple of days now. I want to say since. Is it actually sending 70 a day for just CFOs? Yeah. So you're done. When did you, oh, you just started this then. Yeah, so you I don't just, have an account warm up phase. Because it says 100 over 100. Yeah, that's oh, that's 100 overall. And I've already had one call and I have two calls this Friday and then I'm going to have, a, so I'm definitely getting my, my calls in and kind of, you know, engaging. Which sequences are you getting the calls? Right now, the sequence that's getting me the calls, well, I had one call with a CFO, uh, but I have two calls right now, Friday with the um, EDs, nonprofit EDs. What's ED? Executive Education. director. Oh, gotcha. Executive gotcha. director, I'm sorry. And you're connected, and um, you're sending connections on second, second. Two third. calls, bro, let's go, dude. Let's go, you only, only 20 yes. people accepted, bro. Yes. And you got two calls. <laughs> Is this okay? Is this okay? Yeah, it's fucking fantastic, Khalil. A round of applause for Khalil. Love it. Love it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm excited. Why don't we focus on the nonprofit EDs? The only question I have is what's the thought process design behind CFOs? Very good question. This is based on my experience. I'm working with small organizations who are at the beginning of their process when it comes to diversity, equity, inclusion. And with my experience, what I found out is that either the ED or the CFO has more decision making during that time period as far as what are we going to do with our diversity, equity, inclusion initiatives. So these are the individuals that more than likely are the ones who are the decision makers at that stage so that's the reason why i'm i'm targeting cfos gotcha so so it's it's the ed and the cfo well I, I, let me distinguish too because we're talking about for-profit and non-profit so in the non-profit world it's going to be the e it's going to be the eds the executive director only gotcha. in the for-profit world it's going to either be the ceo or the cfo and then what about the philanthropic and higher ed so the philanthropic is kind of like a different industry altogether but they will primarily be your project manager, uh, your program managers, or your executive directors. And no calls have come from that yet? I mean, you're only doing 10 I, I, Yeah, I've already got um, one call from from that, from them too. So it's just like, they're all Damn. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, wow. Because I know what kind of pain points they are at. And so when I've sent out the feelers, That's my the feelers basically say, hey, I want to talk to you because I want to find out what stage you're at in your DEI. And they all know what I'm talking about. So they're all like, yeah, I want to talk to you or 
I'm not the right person. Let me see you do this person. And then they redirect you, right? Exactly. So they all know exactly what I am. So if they're not the right person, they're either saying, hey, I'm not the right person, but let me speak, let me connect you to the right person. Or, hey, I'm glad you're reaching out. Let, let's connect during this time period because I'm on vacation or let's talk tomorrow. Okay, right. so then my question to you is, who do you want to work with more? Do you want to work with nonprofits more or do you want to work with more? Okay, you're, you're asking me, <laughs> Like either you see, or. well, everybody else. Like, do you see how we're trying to validate the yeah. theory yeah. that he has? Let me say this: it's more fulfilling working with nonprofits mm -hmm. because they are more in the social justice space. So they are much more connected to the language and knowing about diversity, equity, inclusion. When you're dealing with for-profits, you're doing a different type of, so I would say nonprofit. Then why are we wasting time on CFOs, bro? I wouldn't say <laughs> waste of time because those are clients too. And no, I, generally, I know, and I, I know, but I, I, I want you to work but I get what you're in, saying. in the zone where you yeah. feel the most fulfilled. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You're right. And this is why I'm here for you to do that for me. So <laughs> I, I'm glad you're saying that. So I'm going to go ahead and eventually. So let me ask you this then. At what point do I say, okay, let me go ahead and chop off these other two and just focus on if they're all kind of giving me energy, if they're all kind of responding. And at what point do I say, okay, let me just go ahead and focus on my- The point where you have enough data to know exactly like, okay, I send out a hundred messages out of those hundred, I'm gonna get 50 book calls, 50 of those gotcha. calls will turn into yeah. this many the paying numbers. clients. Yeah. It's all about the numbers. numbers. <laughs> Split it between the CFOs and the uh, non-profit TVs. Go for yeah, it. Even based on the way you structured this alone, like you didn't have that much confidence in philanthropic and higher yeah. education. You only send 10 connections. But, but with CFOs, you were confident in them yeah. because you knew they could pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> but you're fulfilled by the non-profit EDs. Like I know all this, but I need yeah. you to tell me this shit. Right. You know See, saying? you see how they're all connected. They're uh -huh. all connected on that shit. Yeah. I get it, dude. Yeah. Yeah. This is good feedback. Great. Okay. I would for sure that. kill the, the 10 one and I would yeah. split 50 50 between the, the nonprofit and EDs and CFOs until mm -hmm. you want to make the decision like, you know what? Let's go all in on this one. Exactly. But I'm just letting you know and letting you be aware that when you do have multiple sequences, it takes longer to close yeah. the loop. It makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. I see what you're saying now. Now that I think about it too, it really helps me be able to focus on that client and not spread myself thin because there's nuances working with these segments. So it helps me kind of really save that energy for just being focused, laser focused on that. And I think that'll optimize and get you better along the track. So yeah, I really appreciate that. Yeah, like think about it. How many nonprofit EVs exist in the United States alone? Oof, so many. So you can make a shitload of money off yeah. of just focusing on them. On just them alone. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and be ultimately fulfilled, dude. Yep, exactly. Like, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, I, and I'm just saying like, just shout out to, you know, just the work that you're doing and your expertise, because I may not speak that much, but I'm always taking notes. And I really appreciate, you know, what you're saying about the sequencing uh, and, and the messaging. Uh, because, you know, you, you have to know this stuff. You have to know your target market. Otherwise, you know, um, you're just kind of spinning your wheels. So I really appreciate the process that you're building here. It's, you know, I see a lot of value. Thank you.